Welcome back to another Starfield video. This is Dallas here in the middle of a desert and with my NASA space shuttle that I built. <laughs> That's right, I completely designed the NASA space shuttle in Starfield. Is that a planet? Oh, it is. So in this video, I'm basically just going to tell you about my experience at Starfield. I have completed the main quest, most side quests, and I'm going to show you how I built this NASA shuttle here, which actually took me a very long time. It's been, it's taken a long time to perfect it. Oh wow, we got some dinosaurs here. They just chased off those dinosaurs. What are these things? This is for science. Ah, they're not that bad. Oh, snap! And a rank up. As you can see, I am level 50, and I am towards the- Oh, gosh. Automatically put on my jetpack. What do you know? Don't get up. Don't get up. Did I cripple him? I've never seen this. Can you cripple? No, Vosco. This is why I don't have companions. I just had Vosco join me because I just wanted to try him out. I actually exiled Vosco forever from my crew because he couldn't say my name, which is pretty simple, Dallas. But anyway, that's enough distractions. Let's head on to a ship technician. I guess I'll go to Aquila City. Okay, so we have my Challenger ship here. If you watched my last video, this was the last ship I made, which I called the Endeavor, and I liked it quite a bit, but before the game came out, I wanted to challenge myself to build a space shuttle, so this ship right here was actually the Frontier before because it comes with a unique hab, which uh, I really like, which I wish I could have in my space shuttle, but I don't, but anyway. I'm just gonna run over this thing pretty quick. Uh, it took me a long time to fine tune this thing, I'm using a Hope Tech cockpit, as you can see here. I used Nova Galact a few Nova Galactic halves because I liked the interiors of them. And I tried my best to make the smallest design possible, but fit in as much space as possible. And a big thing for me is to have every single hab on the same level because I hate the ladder systems in this game. I mean, they're not awful, but I hate having to go up and down between a hab to get to traverse this thing. So I have one here here and to have a stroud companion way right here nothing wrong with stroud just happens to be the one there and then on the wings here i actually have two by one habs which is a tayo all-in-one berth and then a tayo armory now the hardest thing about shipbuilding in starfield is that they have a lot of limitations basically is basically there's a lot of components that you have to have to be able to fly your ship such as a reactor a grav drive engines a certain amount of landing gear you gotta have a landing bay, you gotta have a docker. The hardest part was the docker because the docker on no matter what ship you make has to be on an outside edge. So I couldn't put it right here because I have these fins. I couldn't put it on the side because I have these wings. So I had to put a module on the bottom of the ship, which is a storeroom, and then the docker goes right here. And then I fit in a giant cargo hold right here, which is pretty nice. And I liked that I colored all of the bottom stuff black because it really hides it. We have a couple different landing gear right here. Then we have my favorite in the game under the wings. Now for the wings, I use the Nova Galactic cowling, which looks pretty nice. I did just recently change the engines. I wanted them to look a little bit more like shuttle engines. I wanted to use these ones right here, because if you can imagine this in the place of these two right here, it would look perfect, but this cannot have anything on top of it. So these would not be able to be here. So I can't use that. So I use these ones and these. But yeah, my reactor sits right here, and my grav drive is right under this wing. These are the fuel tanks right here. They accent the wings pretty well. This is Nova Cowling. This is Nova Cowling. The whole spine is all Deimos, and I put all the weapons and shields under the wings here. And that is pretty much my shuttle. And if you ask me, I think this is a pretty nice size. It's not overly huge. 
And I called it the Challenger just to pay tribute to the Challenger disaster. Perhaps I should have called it the Challenger 2 instead. I've been getting a lot of flack online for that, like... <laughs> But anyway, yeah, this is pretty much it. This is a Nova Galactic captain's area, I guess you can call it. I just like how personalized it is. You got a bed and these like leather chairs. Um, and then I have this, which is I believe the control room or computer core, because this allows you to have four crew members, which I don't normally have crew members, but if I come across a mission where I have to transport someone, it's nice to have that extra space. And then walking back, this is a storeroom. I use these obviously as splitters. This way goes to my armory. I am a bounty hunter in this, so I think this fits well. This is more like a sleeping area, but it looks like an area where you would store someone. Sadly, in this game though, you can't take any of your bounties in alive. You have to kill them all, um, but oh well. This one over here, these are the wings by the way. This is, I think just an all in one berth, yeah. I could make this a workshop, but eh, I might eventually. Fire uh oh, that didn't sound good. Got him. The firepower on this thing isn't the best. I didn't design it around combat specifically, but it definitely does the job, that's for sure. I have a lot of my crew over here that want to send a heartfelt thanks. You're welcome. Now send anyway, me money. Actually, I never take money from these guys. This happens a lot, actually. I always ask for ship parts. <laughs> Done. So, as I look for a planet to explore and maybe come across quests, I'll give my opinion on this game in a whole. I love this game to pieces. One of my top games of all time now, but that doesn't mean there isn't problems with it. What's this? Nuradine Botany Laboratory. Hmm. So here's one of my first small complaints. This place I might have been to on a different planet. There's a lot of rinse and repeat, I guess you can call it dungeons or outposts on these planets that you come across over and over. But I suppose that's expected to happen on a procedurally generated game. You can only handcraft so many areas and change them slightly to create new... Whoa, this looks kind of cool though. This isn't looking too familiar. Ooh, I like this planet. I like the trees. Can I breathe without my suit here? Yeah, looks like it. Sweet. Sometimes I just don't like wearing my suit. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep for the day though. Ugh. So I will talk about spoils. I have completed the main quest and it was a little lackluster. Maybe my expectations were a little too high. I had this grand idea that perhaps we would, uh oh, sounds like someone's coming in, that we would meet intelligent alien life. Hello there. What the heck is that? I like how I just complained about coming across the same areas too much and I've never seen this place in my life and it's pretty cool. But anyway, the main story takes you to the Unity or the multiverse as many of you may have heard. And I was just a little let down knowing that you're meeting people you've already met just from a different universe. It was a cool twist, but it was not the twist I wanted. So the story just basically takes you around the universe, collecting different artifacts, and eventually putting them together to go through the unity, and that's it. Plant research facility, oh boy. But the main quest is sort of just like the rest of the side quests in this game, because there are a lot of side quests, and some of the side quests I like a lot more. So I'm at this point in this game now where I have one major side quest left, which is, oh my God, what is this place? Which is the Vanguard quest. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, that's a spider. I think I've seen these things before. Ugh. This is freaking cool. Don't get up. 
But basically, I'm just exploring the galaxy now, trying to find new and interesting quests similar to like this. I mean, this isn't necessarily a quest. It's more like exploring. But I didn't want to enter the Unity and start new again. I just do not like that. I wanted to stay in my own universe and just finish it out. If I want to start new again, I would start a whole new character. So that's basically where I am at now. What in tarnation? Your mind goes crazy when you enter a place like this. Like, what happened here? I'm sure you can figure it out, but this place looks so old and overrun by life. This is cool. Oh, these things are fast. Yeah, look at that. I love the horror in this game. I like it when you come across scary alien creatures. That's sort of what I wanted the main story to be like, coming across scary intelligent life or something. Oh gosh. I wonder how many other planets this exact thing is on. Because I just landed on a random planet in a random system, and this whole place is handcrafted by someone. So it makes me wonder, does everyone else have a chance to come, or maybe it's like level based. It'll pop up. I know in Starfield things pop up randomly. It will not be the same for every player. So maybe it's level based and eventually this will just pop up randomly on some random planet I eventually land on. I think that's how it goes. Is that an apple? It's a tomato. How is that thing still pristine? Uh oh, we got a victim here. I'm very intrigued to find out what happened here, honestly. And here we go. Maximizing growth of local flora for industrial and commercial use. So as I said, I love this game. I love every aspect about it, but I'm mainly going to be tackling the small gripes I have. And another one is maybe the companions, because I come from Fallout 4, which had a lot of different people you could romance. Ew. Um, and I really like being able to romance in this game, but you only have four options. And that may be a lot. You can do one through each playthrough. Um, but I've noticed I romanced Sarah and Andreja in this, and they both are practically the same person. Andreja seems more like the edgy type. I feel like she should have, oh my lord. I feel like she should have liked it when you did bad things, and Sarah liked it when you did good things, but they both seem to hate it when you do bad things, and it just felt a little limiting. Oh gosh, what am I doing? They're fighting each other. Oh boy. I got this. Go away. Where'd your buddy go? I just saved you. Are you gonna try to kill me now? Yeah. Now this game is definitely far from perfect, but hopefully this is going to be a long-term game where they continue to update it and actually add a lot of things to it as well. I know there's going to be future DLCs, but I want them... See, I don't want to rely on the modding community. I'm not a fan of mods. I want the actual game devs to add to small things over time, similar to how The Witcher 3 usually added small things, like maybe custom outfits for certain people. Probably not gonna figure out what happened here. I'm kind of just rambling as I look around. Man, they went into depth. Well, some of these just random stories you can come across. That's why I'm not giving up on this universe yet. Uh, I just still wanna, I like this character so much. I'm afraid if I just restart the game, I will kind of just miss this character, which I'm very guilty of. I do that a lot. So I'm gonna try to do and experience everything I can with this guy to my limit and then maybe wait a month or two to finally come back to this to just to wipe the slate of my mind of this game. <laughs> I have a lot more nitpicks about this game, like really small things, but other than that, I don't really want to get into it a whole lot. 
This game has been an amazing experience so far, and I plan to continue playing it for a while, so... Maybe I'll bring some more content soon of just simply exploring worlds like this, but, uh... Stop talking so much and actually get into the game and <laughs> figure out maybe like what happened here, for example, because I'm sure there's a lot more unique places out there to find. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's just a bit. Oh, they're like crickets. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Ugh. This place is unbelievably big. I swear, for how much I've been playing this game, I'm still coming across new and amazingly, like, designed creatures. It's just so cool. They should have added a beast area to this game, by the way. Every creature you discover or scan, like these guys, for example, what are they? I'm at 43% scanned. But when they get to 100%, it should be added to a bestiary list where you can go in your menus and then look at everything you've discovered. But uh, yeah, everyone, that's basically it. Uh, I'm not going to finish this out recording. Um, maybe I'll let you know what happens in my next video, which will hopefully be soon. Because this channel is now monetized, finally. I can start benefiting from it as well, other than my main channel. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.